Hi, I'm Sandy Botkin, CPA, attorney, and former trainer of IRS attorneys nationwide. And if you let me, I'm going to change your life. How was your raise? You're probably saying, what raise? How about job security? Do you feel secure at your job? Because I can tell you that 99% of the population doesn't. You heard about this new health care reform? You think that's going to create jobs? What it's going to do is encourage that sucking sound to India and China and Mexico. Let me give you some sobering statistics. There's a day called Taxpayer Freedom Day, which is the day that the average person has to work to to pay off their federal, state, and Social Security and Medicare taxes. You know what day that is? I had some people at one of my seminars said December 28th. <laughs> it seems that way. It's actually April 19th. That means that the average person has to work 30, basically 30% 30 of their income goes to pay taxes. Now, you could be more too, depending on the state, depending on your income. In addition, it has been estimated that 30 to 40% of most people's incomes go out to pay debt in some form or committed money. And that includes mortgage debt or rent, because rent's committed, car loans, education loans, and consumer debt. If you add those two things up, the average person is paying a minimum of 58 to 70% of their gross income in taxes and debt. No wonder we can't get ahead. No wonder we can't save money. How would you like to be able to save for retirement, become a multimillionaire, get out of debt in less than 12 years, and cut your expenses the same way? Would you like that? All at the same time. Well, let me give you a secret. In fact, they're going to get two secrets. Number one, 72% of all multimillionaires in this country made it in business. 25% made it as employees and the rest made it in other ways. So if you have a business, you've got three times the chance of getting rich than working as an employee. The question is, what kind of businesses succeed? And the most common type that work the best are home-based business. And there's essentially several kinds of those, but the two major ones are franchises and network marketing, which is a kind of franchise uh, for opportunity at a home-based business. The benefits of being in business are enormous. For example, you get tremendous time freedom. You work at home, you're at home, you get to see your family. No glass ceilings, which means you don't get any discrimination. No inventory, at least with a network marketing business. No overhead, at least with a network marketing business. No employees in a network marketing business, unlike that of a franchise. With both, you get unlimited income potential and proven marketing on both. Both show you exactly what you need to do to market your business. But you also get with any business, whether it's home-based or otherwise, great tax benefits. And the benefits are enormous. In fact, what's interesting, and I'm not saying you should start a business just to have losses, but if your business generates a loss and you're self-employed and you operate that business correctly like a business, that loss can be used against any form of income you have. Interest, dividends, wages, rents, pensions, anything. So let's take an example. Let's say you make $50,000 a year in salary, or your spouse makes $50,000, and your home-based business generates a $5,000 loss. You only pay taxes on $45,000, the net. Let's say that loss exceeds your whole income for the year. Let's say you're a single individual, and it exceeds your whole income. You can carry back all business losses two years and actually get a refund from the federal and state government for the last two years of taxes that you pay. You actually get a check. Or you can carry forward all business losses up to 20 years and offset the next 20 years of earnings. So you never lose a properly documented business deduction. And that is why most very wealthy individuals. Most millionaires have said, if you want to be a multimillionaire, you got to get your taxes down to the legal minimum. And there's essentially three reasons for that. Number one, it's easy and it's effective. And it's effective, let me give you a good example of that. If I offered you $10,000 a year in tax savings each year for the rest of your life, or a $17,000 raise, which would you take? If you said the $17,000, you'd be wrong. Because you've got to pay federal tax, state, Social Security, and Medicare on that 17, you'll be left with less than 10. So the taxes are better than getting it almost two to one in terms of income. But also, it is an incredible residual opportunity with taxes. In fact, it is one of the best residuals around. Because if you save money in taxes, it's good this year, it's good next year, it's good the year after, it's like a guaranteed benefit. 
every single year. And that's one of the benefits of network marketing. You get residual income on other people's efforts, which is a tremendous benefit. And you save money in taxes, which is like having a double residual. I promise you, if you get yourself a good home-based business, you will diversify your life, diversify your income in case you get laid off. Laid off. You will also have a good possibility of being a multimillionaire and substantially reduce your taxes. For more information, if you do anything, take action now because tomorrow never comes. Get yourself a good home-based business. And for more tax information on that business, go to my website at TRIseminars.com and make your life less taxing.